Time now for ABC4 News Sports with Dana Green. Well, after 16 seasons, over 22,000 points and three NBA titles, the Jazz got their last look at Dwayne Wade tonight. He's retiring at the end of the year. Jazz fans giving him a warm reception, but the Jazz dominating from the jump. Joe Ingles to Rudy Gobert for the throwdown. 10 points, 11 boards for Rudy tonight against Miami. Utah scored the first 13 points. It was 13-0 when Jay Crowder ripped the three. Jazz doing anything they wanted in the paint. Ingles to Derek Favors. He had 17. The lead was 40-15 at the end of the first quarter. Kyle Korver had 10 of his 16 points in the first half. And then when Donovan Mitchell knocks down the three from the corner, the Jazz have a 30-point lead in the second quarter. I mean, to quote the great Ron Burgundy, this one escalated in a hurry. I mean, it really got out of hand. Jazz were up 27 at the half. Second half, more of the same. Look at that move by Mitchell, twisting the defender around for the hoop in the arm. Korver can be such a weapon when he's on. Comes around the curl to knock down another three. Jazz just did not let up the entire game. They shot 53%, led by 39 after the third quarter. Donovan Mitchell leading the way with 21. Rudy Gobert throwing it down. The final score, 111-84. Jazz end their two-game losing skid. Just getting stops, you know, being physical, um, communicating, you know. And I think it fuels our offense, and then we share the ball offensively, and uh, I feel like we got great looks all night. I think the biggest thing is we played defense at a high rate, like the whole game. You know, there wasn't really a time, maybe three possessions where we stopped. And I think that's what's going to take us. Off shots are going to fall, whatever, but if an opening tip, you know, I just wanted to go out there and just be aggressive, just be uh, and find ways, you know, not worrying, not thinking, just playing. And once you start playing defense, everything else starts to fall in line for you.